are going to be making a super easy, no fuss crock pot vegetarian chili today. So before you think you have to write all of this down, don't worry, I've included a free printable recipe in the bottom of this video. So don't feel like you have to write anything down. So I am a no fuss cook. I don't like super crazy, hard to follow recipes. I like to be able to just use a few simple ingredients and get the best result possible. So this is my own personal recipe. So I hope you, I think you guys are gonna like it. So to make a crock pot chili, if you don't have a crock pot, you're probably gonna need a crock pot. So I have um, picked two of my favorite here. Um, this smaller one from Brentwood is obviously a smaller um, crock pot. This is great for people that are in smaller places, small apartments. Um, don't have that much counter space, this is always a great alternative. And then normally with the crock pots that are smaller in size, you just half the recipe. This crock pot has a different um, settings on the front of it. So you can do low, medium, high, or warm. Um, so this is a really nice option um, for anybody who has a smaller place. So, but today for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be making our chili in this because my recipe is for a full size crock pot. And the reason I have picked this crock pot brand of a crock pot is it's one of my favorite. Um, as you can see on the front of the crock pot, you have an on and off button, and then you also have the ability to have a timer. So this is really helpful in my cooking because I can turn it on in the morning, I can set it for however many hours I want, and then it just automatically turns off and I don't have to worry about something running while I'm at work and not at home. So this is a very nice option. So for today, we are going to be using this full-size crock pot, crock pot. And then now I'm gonna show you how to make our super simple vegetarian chili. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients on the table and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna turn on the crock pot. So all you do that is the button, power button, and then we are gonna turn it on and I'm just gonna set it to four hours because that's normally what we're gonna do. Four to six hours, you can even go eight hours if you want to. And then I'm just going to, there's not glamorous, I'm gonna put everything in the crock pot. There's no right away to do this and you just, I mean, you don't need to put anything in a sequential order. We're just gonna put all in the crock pot and we're gonna stir it up. So this crock pot has a great feature because it has a locking mechanism. So you can see on the lid. So this is great for traveling. So if you wanna take your, your creation, whatever you've created with you, you can lock the top of the crock pot and then it's for easy transport. It will not spill in the car. I've been there spilling stuff from that you've made in the car is no fun. Okay, so what I have here is bell peppers, red and green and a jalapeno. And I like my food spicy, so. I always cook spicy. So if you are somebody that does not like spices, I would eliminate the jalapeno. We have our celery, we have our onion. I used a red onion. You can also use a yellow or white onion, but I just like the flavor personally of red. We have our beans. These are pinto beans and white beans. And then we have our kidney beans and black beans. And then we are gonna add our diced tomatoes. This was two large, uh, two cans, or you could just do one large can. And don't worry, this will cook down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add our vegetable broth. There's two cups of vegetable broth. And then I'm gonna add all of our seasonings. So this is smoked paprika. This is cumin. We have some oregano, you can do dried or fresh. I just had fresh in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna do that. Chili powder and some chili flakes. And then I add anywhere from two to three bay leaves and then um, pepper to taste. I don't really like to cook with a lot of salt, so if you're a salty kind of person, then I would add a little bit of salt here. Um, but again, I like spicy foods, so. Um, and then we are literally just gonna kind of stir this all together and we're just gonna let it do its thing for about four hours. So I'm just gonna stir this all up. And then we are gonna let this cook. And it smells good, I'm hungry. I don't know if you can hear my stomach, it's growling. <laughs> all right, so like I said, I am a no fuss cook, so I am not any 
not the most glamorous cook, so I do apologize. Um, but if you do um, eat meat, this would be, um, if you wanted to add meat to this recipe, you could totally do that. Before I became vegetarian, um, I did this with ground turkey. What you can do is pan fry some ground turkey, and then you could throw it in at this point, and then still same cooking applies four to six hours, or if you want, eight hours. So I'm gonna put the lid on this, and we are gonna let all of these flavors just kind of meld together and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at it and taste this chili. Okay, so it's been four hours and I am torturing everybody in this building. Um, so we are going to dish out our chili. So let me open the crock pot. Ooh, look at that. Nice and hot. So I'm gonna dish this up with the toppings that I prefer. So I put some cheese, avocado, fresh squeezed lime juice, and cilantro on my chili. So I've already prefaced this with Heidi. She is okay with all of those toppings. So good job. So let's give Heidi a good size bowl. Let's see. I feel bad, Heidi's been waiting all day for chili. Okay, so avocado. Do you mind if I squeeze this? Use my fingers. Okay. I'll give you some cilantro. You like a lot of cilantro? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be hot, so be careful. <laughs> Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh good, well see, Heidi is not a vegetarian, so this is a very unbiased review, so I kind of tricked her into helping me today being my taste tester. So, what do you think? Well, I mean, she seems to like it. So, <laughs> this has been the vegetarian um, crock pot chili. This is my super simple recipe. Again, you can find the recipe below, and if you have any other questions, we're here to help. And this is Cook and Made Simple.